Postdural puncture headache is a common issue after spinal procedures. In this video, we'll briefly cover the causes of postdural puncture headache and discuss the most effective treatments, including supportive measures, pain relief, and strategies to stop CSF leakage. Stay tuned for a quick overview of how to manage and treat this condition. Clinical features of PDPH. Postural headache usually appears within 24 to 48 hours after a dural puncture, but it can sometimes develop up to five days later. The post-dural puncture headache worsens when the patient is standing or sitting and improves when lying down. May associated with nausea, photophobia, sensitivity to light, auditory disturbances such as tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and neck stiffness. Not associated with fever, seizures, or focal neurological deficits. If these symptoms are present, other diagnoses should be considered. Pathophysiology of postdural puncture headache. Postdural puncture headache occurs due to a leakage of cerebrospinal fluid (CSF) through a dural puncture site. This leakage leads to a reduction in intracranial pressure, which triggers several compensatory mechanisms. Intracranial hypotension. The loss of CSF volume results in decreased intracranial pressure. Cerebral vasodilation. To maintain cerebral perfusion, the body compensates by dilating cerebral blood vessels. Brain sagging. The reduction in CSF pressure causes the brain to sag within the cranial cavity, stretching pain-sensitive structures and contributing to the headache. Treatment is designed based on the the treatment of postdural puncture headache, in brief, is based on the pathophysiology of the condition and is organized as follows. 1. Supportive measures, hydration, bed rest, abdominal binder. These measures aim to reduce pain and relieve headache symptoms. 2. Restoring and stopping CSF leakage, epidural blood patch, saline infusion. 3. Relieving vasodilation, caffeine, sumatriptan, theophylline. 4. Reducing inflammation, steroids, cosentropin. 5. Pain relief. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, paracetamol, gabapentinoids, pregabalin, amitriptyline, magnesium sulfate, management approach in details, supportive measures, bed rest, duration, 24-48 hours, depending on symptom severity. Mechanism, reduces gravitational forces on the brain, minimizing CSF leakage and mitigating symptoms of intracranial hypotension. Abdominal binder. Application. Wear continuously for 24-48 hours, or as needed. Mechanism. Increases intra-abdominal pressure, reducing CSF leakage and stabilizing the brain, which may help reducing headache symptoms. Hydration. IV dose. 1-2 liters of normal saline or similar fluids over 24 hours. Mechanism. Supports systemic fluid balance, indirectly helping to maintain CSF volume and providing symptomatic relief for PDPH. Restoring compensating for CSF loss. Epidural blood patch. Dose. 15 to 20 ml of autologous blood injected into the epidural space. Timing. Typically performed once. Repeat patches may be necessary if symptoms persist. Mechanism. Seals the dural tear, restoring epidural pressure and preventing further CSF leakage, directly addressing the pathophysiology of intracranial hypotension. Epidural saline dextran infusion. Dose. 10 to 20 ml of saline or saline dextran combination injected into the epidural space. Timing. One or two doses may be given. Mechanism. Temporarily increases epidural pressure helping to restore CSF volume and reduce headache symptoms by stabilizing intracranial pressure. Reducing compensatory cerebral vasodilation, caffeine, Necafix 40 mg, oral dose, 300 to 500 mg daily in divided doses. To consume 300 to 500 mg of caffeine daily. T. 6 to 12 cups, 240 milliliters, cup. Coffee. 3 to 5 cups 240 milliliters cup espresso 5 to 8 shots 30 milliliters caffeine content varies by preparation and brand iv dose 500 milligram in saline infused over 1 to 2 hours mechanism 
Caffeine blocks adenosine receptors A1 and A2, leading to cerebral vasoconstriction, which counteracts the vasodilation caused by low CSF pressure. Theophylline, Quibron, SR 300 mg, oral dose, 200 mg twice daily. Mechanism, Theophylline increases intracellular cyclic adenosine monophosphate, which leads to vasoconstriction of the cerebral vasculature, reducing headache caused by low CSF pressure. Sumatriptan, Imigran 50 mg, dose, 6 mg once subcutaneous, repeat after 1 hour if needed. Oral dose, 50 to 100 mg once, repeat after 2 hours if required. Mechanism, Sumatriptan is a 5-HT1B, 1D receptor agonist, which selectively constricts cranial blood vessels, counteracting vasodilation associated with low CSF pressure. Reducing pain, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen, brufen, oral dose, 400 to 600 mg every 6 to 8 hours. Maximum dose, 2,400 mg per day, 4 doses. Mechanism, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs block cyclooxygenase enzymes, reducing prostaglandin synthesis, which alleviates pain and inflammation in postdural puncture headache. Paracetamol, acetaminophen, paracetamol 500 mg, cetyl 500 mg and doliprane 1 gram. Oral dose, 500, 1000 mg every 6 to 8 hours. Maximum dose, 4000 mg per day. Mechanism, paracetamol inhibits prostaglandin synthesis centrally within the CNS, increasing pain thresholds and relieving postdural puncture headache symptoms. Gabapentin Gaptin 400 mg Vagapantin 600 mg Initial dose 300 mg daily Titration Increase to 600 to 900 mg per day in divided doses is tolerated Mechanism Gabapentin binds to voltage-gated calcium channels, reducing excitability in neurons and modulating neuropathic pain pathways to help alleviate postdural puncture headache pain Pregabalin Nervadin 75 mg. Initial dose. 75 mg twice daily. Titration. Increase up to 150 mg twice daily as necessary. Mechanism. Pregabalin binds to the alpha-2 delta subunit of voltage-gated calcium channels, decreasing neurotransmitter release and stabilizing neuronal activity, which reduces headache severity. Amitriptyline. Amitriptyline 50 mg triptizal 25 mg. Dose, 10 to 25 mg at bedtime. Mechanism, amitriptyline is a tricyclic antidepressant that inhibits the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine, enhancing pain modulation and improving pain perception in postdural puncture headache. Stabilizing neuronal excitability by magnesium sulfate. IV dose, 1-2 gram over 1 hour. Mechanism, Magnesium sulfate acts as an N-methyl D-aspartate receptor antagonist, stabilizing neuronal excitability and reducing pain perception in postdural puncture headache. Reducing inflammation. 14. Hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone 100 mg. IV dose. 100,200 mg every 6-8 hours. Mechanism. Hydrocortisone inhibits inflammatory cytokines and reduces vascular permeability minimizing inflammation that exacerbates postdural puncture headache symptoms. Cosentropin, synthetic ACTH. IV dose, 0.25 mg is a single dose. Mechanism, cosentropin stimulates the adrenal cortex to release cortisol, which suppresses inflammation, potentially reducing brain swelling and headache pain. Simplified treatment flowchart, 1. Mild postdural puncture headache. Begin with supportive measures, hydration, bed rest, abdominal binder. 2. Moderate postdural puncture headache. Add caffeine or theophylline for cerebral vasoconstriction. 3. Severe postdural puncture headache. Consider epidural blood patch or saline dextran infusion to restore CSF pressure. 4. Refractory postdural puncture headache. Escalate to anti-inflammatory agents hydrocortisone, cosentropin, or neurostabilizers magnesium sulfate.